Yes, people, welcome to Crime Daily. A teenager who sprayed acid in the face of a boy while attempting to mug him has been jailed for eight years. As a result of the horrendous and cowardly attack, Lyndon Crick, 17, left the victim also 17 with life-changing injuries. Crick from Ilford was sentenced at Snaresbrook Crown Court on January the 20th, where the judge removed the order that had previously prevented him from being named because of his age. The teenager was found guilty of grievous bodily harm with intent, possession of an offensive weapon, possession of a bladed article and six counts of attempted robbery at the same court on October the 7th, 2021. The suspect entered Plashet Park in Newham on an e-scooter at around 5pm on February the 2nd with an unknown man. Crick approached a group of seven men and initially engaged them in conversation before demanding their phones and implying that he was in possession of acid by showing the group a drinks bottle. Some of the group ran off then the suspect ordered the remaining men to leave the park. In a matter of seconds, the suspect approached another 17-year-old boy who was exercising in a park. The suspect then demanded his phone before squirting an acidic substance in the victim's face. Crick left the park on an e-scooter, passing one of the original men who was now on the phone to police. Officers and London Ambulance Service attended and the victim was taken to hospital for treatment for burn injuries caused by the acidic substance, later revealed to be sulfuric acid after a bottle was recovered from the park. Following investigations carried out by Detective Sergeant Keith Farris and Detective Constable Raf Patel, the, the identity of the suspect was established and he was arrested by officers on April 22nd. DS Farris said, This was a shocking and needless attack which has left a young man with life-changing injuries. The suspect entered the park that day with the express intent of intimidating and threatening others. When the victim refused the demand to hand over his phone, he subjected him to horrendous and cowardly assault. While the victim continues to recover, he will have to live with his injuries for the rest of his life. I can wholly hope that this conviction brings some sense of justice to him. A second suspect who was with the defendant at the time of the incident is still wanted by the police. Another crazy one there, people. Got a 17-year-old whose face is probably messed up for life and a 17-year-old who's doing a big amount of years in jail for a phone he didn't even get. Absolute madness. Anyway, like, comment, share, subscribe. Check back for more, yeah? Peace.